Welcome to Top 20 Knock Technician Interview Questions and Answers. Network Operations Center Technician is a role in which network-related issues are resolved as part of network support team. As a NOC technician, it is important to have experience and knowledge of networking and its component functions. Different types of NOC positions are related to computer networking, telephony, and voice over IP. Majority of questions will be related to technical aspects and in random difficulty order. If you are interested in other non-technical questions, most common interview questions will be in the link description box below. Question number one. Can you tell me about yourself? For this question, make sure you talk about your experience related to this job position. The employer wants to know if you qualify for this position and your answer will dictate the flow of following questions. This is your first chance to sell yourself to this employer, and you can think of it as verbal cover letter. Question number two. What is ping? Ping command is used to determine connectivity between client and server. Example of using ping is within command prompt. If you type in ping space microsoft.com will yield results of successful packet transfer or failure. Of course, ping can provide additional information related to the status of remote computers. Question number three. Do you know what BGP is? BGP stands for Border Gateway Protocol, and it deals with exchange of routing information between autonomous systems on the Internet. This is standardized version of what is known as exterior gateway protocol. Question number four. How would you explain what TCP IP is? TCP is a transmission control protocol over internet protocol that controls the establishing of connections between computers. In other words, it acts as the highway for data packets being sent back and forth used by various protocols like HTTP or FTP. In addition, TCP also deals with sorting out data packet receive order. Question number five. Can you explain what VLAN is? At the data link layer of OSI model, virtual local area network is typically set up in broadcasting the main environments in which it can act as an additional network that is attached to physical, meaning that this network is actually virtual for the purpose of keeping different aspects of various applications separate from physical network. For example, physical network can have multiple switches with hosts attached that form multiple physical networks. In this case, Using VLAN in software form, you can group all hosts attached to multiple switches and create one standalone virtual network. Question number six. 
Would you consider yourself as a team player? When working as knock technician, you will spend time working with other employees and teams that will require you to be a good team player. If needed, provide an example of a project completed alongside coworkers. Question number seven. What is a proxy? Proxy servers are designed to filter network traffic in order to prevent access to certain websites and it can monitor user web activity. Also, proxy server can hide origin IP from the outside networks. For example, in business environments, your computer IP address will be unique to your local network, while the internet will see another different provided by proxy server. Question number eight. Let's say a host computer cannot be reached over the local network using the host name, but can be reached using an IP address. What do you think the problem is? In order to confirm the answer to this question, you can follow up with another question to show your troubleshooting method. However, this issue is most likely caused by DNS configuration. Chances are that the host name is not added to DNS server and therefore network does not recognize host name but rather IP address locations. Question number nine. What is DNS? DNS stands for Domain Name System and it provides database association with various information related to domain entities. For example, a computer attached on physical network will have an IP address which is then translated to host name by DNS server. Instead of typing out an IP address to reach a computer on the network, you can simply remember the host name and DNS will handle the routing. This is how website names work. Speaking of website names, on my website CosmicNovo.com I have this exact same tutorial if you're interested in reading it on your own. Also, if you'd like to follow along, there is a link in the description box below which you can simply select and that way you'll have a side-by-side -side comparison if this is your preferred way of learning or preparing for this interview. I will give you a few more moments to give you a chance to do so within this video. Again, there's a link in the description box below. If you're interested, you can simply just click it. Question number 10. What is a network switch? A network switch is a device that creates a network in which multiple devices are connected and share data. This is accomplished by receiving, processing, and forwarding of data in forms of data packets. Question number 11. How would you find the uptime in Cisco switch or a router. When using CLI SSH Telnet session, you can use command 
S H space V E R to show the uptime. Question number 12. If you came across a situation in which you could not resolve an issue, what would you do? In this case, interviewer is once more asking if you are a team player, which means that the correct answer is to ask someone else in your group for assistance. Question number 13. Can you explain a three-way handshake? First, client sends synchronized request, also known as SYN. Second, server responds with synchronized request and acknowledgement also known as SYN ACK. Third, client responds with acknowledgement, also known as ACK. In other words, SYN, SYN ACK, ACK. Question number 14. What is trunking? Trunking is a networking system that provides access to multiple clients without having to run separate connections for each. This is especially true in telephony. For example, a business will have multiple phone lines that are connected to a trunk network connection. By the way, if you're someone that is looking to get certified in CCNP, there is a guide in the description box below. Question number 15. Have you ever found yourself in a situation that required a decision in which risk for failure was high? You can answer this question with an example of personal experience. In other words, you can provide a situation in which you resolved an issue that required a major system change or configuration. Of course, your answer will be different from others. Question number 16. Do you know what E I G R P convergence time is. Also known as enhanced interior gateway routing protocol convergence time refers to how long a router will consider a host alive without receiving any data packets. In most cases, the hold time is set to three times the hello interval. By default, 15 seconds and 180 seconds. The settings can be adjusted from within the router or a switch. Question number 17. How would you test delay and route of packets between two connections? You can perform a trace route test in order to test connectivity and packet delay over internet protocol. An example of this is command prompt, command trace RT, all one word, after which you can see each node jump and latency with information about each route taken. Question number 18. What is route poisoning? Route poisoning is a way to stop routers from sending data packets through routes that no longer exist 
on the network. In order to exclude routes from routing tables, networks can use route poisoning to inform the other routers on the network of invalid or non-existent routes. This method prevents unnecessary data packets sending over the network. Question number 19. How would you identify which PC and what port it's using on the network? You can do so by looking at ARP and MAC address table from within a switch. Question number 20. Why should we hire you? This is your last chance to talk about your experience and qualifications in order to get this awesome job. Feel free to revisit the first question, asking about yourself. Thank you so much for reading and watching this tutorial. Keep in mind that it's impossible to know exactly which questions will be asked during an interview. What matters is that you go in with a quick knowledge refresh, which will give you the confidence and much needed support for your interview. If you appreciate this article, please share or leave a like. I wish you best of luck and don't forget to smile.